Hi friends, I'm gonna show you how to make Cracker Jacks or caramel toffee, more of a toffee, but it's buttery lit caramel popcorn today. And I'm showing you this last step because it's kind of the critical step and then I'll walk you through it with all the ingredients while this is finishing its cooking. So, um, you pour three quarts of popcorn into two paper bags. And <laughs> I'm gonna put you down for a second here. made a bit of a mess, <laughs> but there's three quarts of popcorn in there. And then you're gonna pour this caramel mixture, and I'll give you the recipe for it. You can check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. Um, you pour that onto the popcorn in the bag. And I'm gonna put you down for another minute. <laughs> Sorry. I need a, I should have used a tripod for this part, but anyway, so you scrape the pan, um, get all the popcorn in the bag, I mean all of the caramel on the popcorn, really poor choice, but I was in the middle of making them and then I thought I should blog about it. So forgive me for my miss, my bad judgment, okay. So you put the popcorn in the bag, you put the caramel on the pot, top of the popcorn, you fold it over, and you shake vigorously. Okay, and you stick it in the microwave for one minute, let it cook. Okay, oops, make you dizzy. So I know this is not gonna be, please don't write in the comments, it's a terrible video. If I didn't do it now, it wouldn't get done and then you wouldn't have this cool recipe. So um, you pop the popcorn, air popper, or however else you wanna do it. Um, I did use just regular yellow popcorn, but you could use the very uh, variegated colors of, or variated variations of popcorn. Um, and then it's one cup brown sugar, a quart, the quart, uh, quarter cup, one fourth cup of caro syrup, the light caro, uh, half a cup of butter, so one stick of butter, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, one cup, quarter cup, half cup, one half teaspoon. So you mix all of these ingredients except the baking soda in a microwavable container. Okay, we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna try not to make you dizzy. We've got a wedding shower tomorrow and a camping going on, so lots of piles. Okay, you take it out after a minute. Oops. Shake it vigorously. And you put it back in for another minute. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like when you're finished. It's, just, like, it's not sticky at all. It's more like, pop, it's more like um, Cracker Jacks, kind of, but it tastes more buttery and, and caramely. So I'm sorry I wanted to do this before I finished vacuuming the kitchen. So, um, so we've got all the ingredients. We put them in a bowl. Um, I didn't mix them or stir them. I put them in the microwave for exactly three minutes. Take it out, stir it. Put it in for another minute and a half. Take it out, stir it, and then add your half a teaspoon baking soda. That's where we started at the beginning. Stir it, and then dump it on top of the popcorn and shake vigorously. Then once you shake vigorously, put it in the microwave for one minute. Take it out of the microwave, shake vigorously for one more minute. Put it in the microwave. Let's see, so it's two minutes in the bag and shaking vigorously after each. And then once it's microwaved in the bag twice, you shake it vigorously. And then you pour it on your hopefully cleaner. That one was cleaner. <laughs> uh, I don't know what was made on this one. Cookie sheet. And it comes out very hot, so don't let little kids touch it. 
So this one I didn't add any mixins in. I just wanted to do just pure popcorn for the recipe um, for my video. So you're gonna have to shake and tap. Now I did use the bag for two. Oh man, it's so hot, I can barely touch the bag. Okay, we're gonna say no, just say no to that because it's super, super hot. And I did get some on the floor, which is not the coolest, but. So then I just spread it out with the spatula and let it cool. Uh, probably five, 10 minutes. I mean, you saw I put my hand on that and I just had popped the popcorn, so it's been about 10 minutes. And it's not that, it doesn't stay that hot. And then you can just kind of break it up because it's more like a, and I'm not gonna touch the hot ones because I don't wanna burn myself. So um, this is what it's like. It's just like popcorn. There's no sticky whatsoever. I mean, if you left it in your hand, it would be sticky, but that's just butter. You can see the leftover butter on my hands to keep it from sticking. Um, and they can come in little clusters. So what you can do variation wise, Sorry, I'm eating that one because I didn't want to put it back in after I touched it in my hand like that. Um, is you can add variations. I threw some corn pops in that first recipe just to see how they would be, if they would melt or anything. They tasted really good. You can add nuts. Um, you could do peanuts like Cracker Jacks, but a lot of people have allergies to those, so I usually use almonds. And a lot of people don't like walnuts. They get cankers. So anyway, once again, cup of brown sugar. Quarter cup of caro light syrup, one half cup butter, and put that in the microwave for three minutes, stir, put it in for another minute and a half, stir, and then add a half a teaspoon baking soda, stir, then you pour it onto the popcorn in two brown grocery sacks, clean grocery sacks. They'll give them to you new if you ask or buy them. And then you once you've shaken it vigorously, after you pour it over it, you put it in the microwave for one minute, take it out, shake, put it in for one minute, take it out, shake, and then, sorry, now I got popcorn all over the floor. <laughs> um, and then you just pour it onto a cookie sheet and let it cool. And then once it's cool like this, we're using it for, uh, she's gonna taste it when she gets here in a minute, but um, we think we're gonna use it as a little thank you at the wedding and just put, thanks for popping by. So, um, if you have any questions, check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and type in, go to the web version at the bottom of the homepage. There's a search box you can search for uh, Cracker Jack popcorn or caramel popcorn. I have several different recipes for caramel popcorn, um, some that are really ooey gooey, caramely, sticky, and this is the only one that's more like a toffee, so if you search toffee and popcorn, it'll probably come up. And um, but the other recipes are really good too. Well, there's one with marshmallow, there's um, one without marshmallow, but we I usually clean out the cupboard. So I'll, I'll take like all my leftover chips and pretzels and things like that. If there's a bunch of empty, half empty bags and I make caramel and I put it over it and then the kids will eat the leftover <laughs> chips and stuff that they wouldn't normally eat if it was just in the bottom of a bag. So um, different variations, check it out. Um, sorry about the putting the camera down. I should have put it on a tripod, but like I said, I was in a hurry and I forgot. And then when I did think about it, it was already in the middle of processing, so I couldn't do it. So please don't write any rude comments because that just doesn't make it worth putting up things. So I hope you have a blessed day. If you like, thumbs up and check out some of the other recipes because there's some yummy ones on there and on my channel. So The Secret of Gratitude is my YouTube channel and thesecretisgratitude.com is my blog. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.